Now we'll have a look at how to import data objects. So this is one of the last things you're likely to do once you configure your Macanto. If you're moving from one system to another, you obviously have to export and clean up the data and then import it in here. So we want to import opportunities into the system, existing opportunities we have in another system or that we have on a spreadsheet somewhere. So we go again under admin, we go to data tools, and under import, we're now going to select opportunities. Now, if you've not imported any contacts yet, you won't be able to import data objects because data objects have relationships to contacts. You can't import data objects until you have some contacts in the system. So I've already done that. Again, so I'll choose here. You can again download a sample spreadsheet here and then you go and choose your data object identifying field so let's have a look at the spreadsheet first so that you know what that actually means and what that is so when you download the sample spreadsheet you'll have a spreadsheet like this now the first thing to notice depending on what you open it in it mine here it's added a header um, row which i don't want so I have to delete that. And then this one here should be the header row. So that when I export it as a CSV, my headers are my file names. Now, of course you have fault field names, sorry. You of course need to go and change these to be your field names, but I'll just use this to explain what the different elements mean. So in the interface, we ask you, what's the data object identifying field? And this here is the flight number. In this example, it's a flight number, and this, the, these pass these three passengers are all all three of these are going on to flight one two zero three. Now, the values that are not contact specific, um, that they all share as the same, I only have to put in in the first one. I don't have to replicate them here. The only reason the seat number is replicated or filled in for all of them and the passport number is because they will be unique for each contact and therefore those fields on your data object will be contact specific. So for us, for this sample file, it's flight number. So what this will do is it finds this flight number and then any contacts that follows it in the list will be connected to the same flight number until it sees another flight number and then if there's a blank, it assumes it's the most recent one that it saw until it sees another one. So if you had six flights here, you would enter six flight numbers. Um, so that's what that identifying field is for. Then the status is just once you've built some automation, if you're bringing data over, do you want it to trigger automation straight away or only when someone starts working on it so that if you bring over a thousand old um so pieces of data, it doesn't suddenly trigger loads of automation. So you have the option there. So that's our sample spreadsheet. This is the one that I've put together for our actual test import. So you can see here, I've got the contact email. So this is the email address of the contact that I want this opportunity created for. Then what do I want their relationship to be? to the opportunity? Well, this contact's gonna be the sales rep. That one's gonna be the client sales rep, client, sales rep, client. I've got two contacts per opportunity. The opportunity ID, when you weren't looking, I added that as a field to Macanto. That's gonna be our identifying field. Then we've got opportunity stage, the description, and the opportunity type. So um, I will go in here and I'll choose that our identifying field is going to be the opportunity ID. Um, we haven't built any automation, so I'm happy to have this active. So now I just need to go and export this as a CSV. And that is fine. Desktop, and this is got my opportunities. Export that. Then I go back here and I'm ready to import. So let me go and drag that file over. And upload. 
and that'll then process. Now, of course, this is a small file, so it'll go quickly, but same as with the contact import, it'll tell you that it's busy importing, it runs it as a background service, you can carry on doing what you were doing, um, and you'll get an email when that's finished. Now, I dare say, this being um, such a small list, that that is more than likely already finished. And for contact one, we can see we have our opportunity, we have our relationship as sales rep, um, that is all in place there, and we are good to go. And if I go and look at another one, let's go for this contact here. Then again, my opportunity has been imported and that's all good. So that is how you import um, your data objects um, into Macanto.